library search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses the power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you want. She's completely focused now. I know. Okay. So this week on um, the rate search, we had a request. I'll put you know, the link will be in the, in the text of the video. Um, somebody had a macro pad, one of our macro pad boards, and um, macro pad. And they're like, I love it, but I want a shorter encoder. They want the encoder to not sit so high up above the um, board. And so the encoder that we use is called the PEG-11 with switch. And that doesn't say here because it's actually not, it's a part of separate build materials, but we use a 15 millimeter um, shaft length. And so we're going to find, try to find something with a shorter, maybe a five or 10 millimeter shaft length, but we want to keep everything else like the footprint, which means it has to be a mechanical encoder that fits in that shape, um, ideally. And um, with a switch, because the macro pad uses the switch to go into bootloader mode. And um, ideally a flattened six millimeter shaft. Um, so if you look here, um, we use this like D shaft. It doesn't, it's not as, as important because you always get an encoder knob that has a different uh, setup. And we use, I think it's like 24 pulses per rotation. So maybe something close to that, it doesn't have to be exact, um, but something close to that. So let's go to, Digi key and let's look for encoders. Actually, let's first look for um, the encoder that we use, which was the PEC 11. Let's see. Okay. Um, so we use with detent, with built in switch, with flattened end, and it was like 20 or 24 encoders. Let's just, um, and let's look for the active and like in stock. So we'll see what we usually, what we use now. Um, it's basically like this. This is like almost exactly it. Okay, so let's look at what we've got. So this is the PEC 11 classic rotary encoder. We use, this is the, the vertical style. We use the horizontal style, which is here. Um, so yeah, L. L is the shaft length. That's how long the little nub po pokes out above. And in this case, we use, yeah, the flattened shaft. L is 15. Now, semi bad news is if you look at the order, and so like, it's, it, you know, I'll show you, it's a little challenging to like find what you want in the encoder. Um, like, but if you look at the data sheet for that family, you can see like what you're looking for. So this is the model 11R, uh, and then there's like, you know, it's horizontal for zero. No, I want detent, I want, there's four three, no, sorry, four two, because it's 24 detent, and standard shaft length. So the problem is, is that the 15 that we use is actually the shortest that they make, which is kind of where we picked it. Um, they only get longer, they go up to 30 millimeters, so 15. Um, but that doesn't mean we're out of luck. There could be other encoders or other makes of encoders that do have a shorter length. So let's let's try looking for that. So you know, keep in mind that um, in the PEC 11 R series, at least they do not make it in less. Okay, so let's just go to the encoder family. Um, so we're gonna go look for active encoders, and so let's just start with that. And let's look for ones with a built-in switch and detent. I think that's kind of essential. Um, or also, uh, you know, we want horizontal style. So this is, I'll show you vertical. So this is like a vertical style, pokes out the side. Or, sorry, this is horizontal style. We want vertical. It was right angle, horizontal, vertical, upright. I don't want user selectable as well, I'll just select it. I don't think there's anything gonna happen there. Okay, next up, um, we want mechanical or like generic, or incremental, not optical. Optical means it has like um, like literally light that pulses, and when you rotate, it like blocks and releases the light, and so that's measured. Which means that they are they last much 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 longer because there's no mechanical 
jitter like I have a, a oscilloscope where like I've used it so much that the um, channels one rotary encoder for um, setting the gain or so that so setting like the visual gain um, it's totally busted because it's just mechanically it's just worn out that doesn't happen with optical um, but you pay for a lot more for optical so let's go for mechanical because we're gonna keep it inexpensive um, next up we want <coughs> Panel or PCB mount, we don't want the surface mount because the, we want it to fit into the, the holes of the macro pad. Okay, so now we're down to at least like 300 um, options. And one thing you'll notice is that we do have, one of the things that you notice is that there is no setting for, <coughs> pardon me, for shaft length. And so we can't just like filter by by that we have to filter we have to filter some other way and then we can like look in the data sheet so the first thing we know is we looked at the PEC 11 R data sheet and we noticed that in the data sheet there is no option for less than 15 millimeters so what we'll do is we'll select everything here and then just remove 11 R and that actually is like you know quite a few second let's only look at normally stocking I don't want to look at stuff that's that's not available so only in stock and normally stocking. Um, okay, so there's a couple more options now. There's the 16R, there's the 12. Let's look at quantity available because it's always a good start. Okay, so this one clearly way too long. This is, tw you know, I think 20 means 20 millimeters long. You can see the 20 here, 20. 20, this is kind of cool, it's clear. Um, try to dig, but this is also way too long. But if you look, um, let's see, the N11, let's look at the day sheet for the N11. The N11 is a different, fa it's not made by the same company, so they might have more options. Um, shaft length L, looks like they also don't do less than 15. L is kind of the minimum. All right, so we're not going to be able to use the N11 series either. Pack 11 L. Let's see, shaft length for these. Let's see if they have a. Oh, here it is. Also, this Pack 11 and 11, these 11s don't come any shorter, but this one looks promising. This 12. So let's get rid of all the like 11 series because those are, those are all going to be very. Uh, Similar, so let's get rid of the 11s and all of these 11s. Okay, so then there is the this one, like, so it looks very promising, right? Because it's like physically looks shorter. So, what happens when we look at this one is um, they have top adjust with switch, which is what we want. So, the N12HS series, okay, cool. Detents, okay, they do 24. And then what's interesting is they're like, oh, L is also, they don't have less than like 18, but, which is weird, right? Because L, it could be just the, oh no, so what it is, so this is interesting. So L, in this case, is not the shaft length, it's the entire body length which is like a little confusing. Um, I wish they would have been consistent. So if you look at the PEC 11 series, when they measure L, they measure L from here. But on the PEC, or uh, sorry, on the 12 series, and like they don't include this like five millimeters here, on the 12 series, they um, it includes six millimeters of body height. So when you look at this one and it says, oh, it's, L is 18, you actually have to subtract six to get to 12, confusing. Anyways, um, but these do look shorter. So what I like is this PEC 12 series. This looks shorter and I like that it's by the same family. So let's look at the PEC 12 series of encoders. So I'm gonna just select PEC 12 R and D and I'll just look at those. And let's look at only 24 pulses per revolution and I don't need this clear version so I'll just do the 
flattened edge. Okay, so I have nine options. So the PEC 12R, um, let's look. So one thing that's a little confusing is all the images look very similar. It's really hard to, like, you can't quite tell. Like, you can tell it's shorter, but, like, how much shorter? So that's when you really have to go to the data sheet. So let's go to the data sheet. Um, so what we want is PEC 12R. And we want, you know, we want three or four. I don't know if this person wants bushing or without. Um, so PEC 12, four watt, you know, whatever. Two, because we want 24 detents. And then we want the shortest possible. So maybe 15. So four, two, or three, two, 15. Okay. So the, basically the number over here, right before the F, is going to be 15 and like remember this is because the length is this whole um sorry the length is this whole body um so it's like five millimeters shorter okay so let's look so there's 20 25 17 so this is the shortest sorry wrong data sheet wrong data sheet right data sheet let's look at the l options it looks like they do make a 15, but it's not stocked here, but they do make the 17. So this is the shortest and you can tell it's shorter. So this is, so the other one was shaft length 15 and this one is shaft length uh, 12. So it's three millimeters shorter, but it is shorter. Okay, so this is my pick. We did find something that is compatible. It has the D shaft, the knob is gonna work. It's 24 detents per revolution, same thing. It has a switch built in, same footprint, same like mechanical with the two legs on the side, three pins, and then two pins, um, but it is shorter. So check this out, the PEC 12R 4217F is my pick for the great search. That's a great search. Where in the world is